Nityanandam enriching spree against the anti-Hindu concepts, Hindu forces using all kinds of weird understandings to uh, distract us from realizing that we are Paramashiva, pure cosmic consciousness or Parashakti. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shiniti and the Paramashiva. This video, um, yes, I heard something. Again, it's all about Guru-Disciple relationship, abusing the and trying to make that whole relationship a mockery of and abused. And it is basically saying that some people will say, oh no, I, uh, my inner voice I gets shut down. I cannot express myself. My inner voice, my inner voice, you cannot do anything. You have to follow, you have to do, do. See, see the, like I mentioned in some of the videos, the West and non-Hindu people who are not uh, initiated into these powerful cognitions of Paramashivam and that you are super consciousness and all these Mahavakyas. Aham Brahmasmi. I don't know, I like this one. The sound of it, this sounds very powerful. Aham Brahmasmi. It's amazing. Um, so they don't get it. And what they do is that they feel that the guru-disciple relationship is basically a slave, uh, uh, lead, leader and slave kind of relationship. And they just don't get it. And I guess that's, that's what it is. But they don't seek to understand it also. And not only that, they will tell people that, that their understanding of that relationship is right and they will make sure that these people do not explore that relationship. So Hinduism is not about silencing your inner voice. Hinduism is all, is all about questioning. It's not about blindly following. Nobody blindly follows in Hinduism. Hinduism is seeking prayerfulness. It's about infusing life, time, and energy into experiencing the ultimate, cognizing the ultimate, living the ultimate, experiencing, yeah, I said it, the ultimate. Um, some people will say, oh, you, you know, you can't express yourself and all this. Some people are claiming, some abusers are claiming, no, when I was there, I couldn't express myself and all that. If you cannot express yourself, that means you, there, you had no authenticity. guide, like I shared in another video, it's the map. Guru should never be dropped. But everything that Guru brings forward when Swamiji shares so many things in satsangs, you're supposed to look into. And when you do Varkyata Saras, which is one of the main thing at the Hindu lifestyle, which is basically the poor translation is a debate, but it's not a debate. It's basically a group of disciples sitting on a specific powerful cognition and sharing their cognitions so that they can raise each other to the higher understanding of that. Varkata Sadas or Jivarta Sadas is, is a major component of Hinduism. And it's all about questioning and experiencing and seeking and looking into. It's not about silencing your inner voice. Nobody's asking you to silence your inner voice. If you decide to silence your inner voice, it's because you decided to silence your inner voice, not because anybody has taught you to. If you have questions, if you have doubts, then you would entertain, cherish Varkyata Saras, bring these, these doubts forward, these blind spots forward, and have greater understanding, have patience, have surrender, have seeking, have prayerfulness, and break through that blind spot and realize your consciousness. Nobody is stopping you. But these people, they will feel, no, no, they're abusing, they're doing this, they're doing that. And they believe it. That's because they are in their blind spot. And they don't want to look into it into it. That's why they are not cherishing the space of Varkyata Sadas. They don't sit with other disciples and look into the cognition and, and try to you know, look into it and find the deeper meaning and, or the powerful cognition which is sitting behind it. They're stuck in a blind spot. They believe their blind spot is real and they start to say, no, this is the truth. They go around and do all kinds of nonsense. No. If you have a blind spot, realize you have a blind spot. 
if you drop if you start to think of dropping guru you have a blind spot nobody who walks in a forest in a jungle will want to drop the map if you have a map and you walk through the jungle and at some point you feel i want to drop the map then you have a serious problem unless you have unless you cross the jungle and when you cross the jungle there's no question of map because that is the space of oneness so when you start to feel like, oh no, maybe if you start to doubt Guru, be very clear, you lost your seeking. You've lost everything. You're falling into deep blind spots, self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial. At that time, you have to sit with disciples and start to look into it. Cherish powerful cognitions. Look into what is the blind spot? What is the misunderstanding? What is the karma? What is the incompletion? Which is not allowing you, which is not making you want to, Cognize the ultimate and you will find it. And that's all about Hinduism. Hinduism is all about that. Hinduism is all about finding blind spots and getting rid of them and realizing you are the ultimate. So there's no such thing of silencing your inner voice. When you silence your inner voice, you give up on yourself. That's it. That's why you give up on Guru. Because when you drop yourself, you will drop Guru as well. Because Guru is nothing but reflection of your pure self. So that is why uh, these thought currents are anti-Hindu thought currents. They do not enrich you, they do not empower you, and they will never make you realize Paramashivam. So there is no such thing as inner voice silencing. If you have a doubt, you sit, you sit with it, meditate, contemplate, do manana, internalize, and figure out the blind spot and raise yourself, or sit with disciples and have Varkyata Sadas. And let's, let's explore. Varkyata Sadas is nothing but let us explore into the reality. Let us explore into the truth. That spirit of adventure, of looking deeper, engaging with the unknown, romancing with the unknown. That is what Hinduism is about. It's not about silencing your inner voice and just following somebody for the sake of following and having fear of not doing anything because you're going to get reprimanded. That is just, that is not Hinduism. That is other things but not Hinduism. But what happens is when you have an, if you come from a, an environment where you were raised like that and you have an incompletion about that, when that incompletion comes forward and you fail to, uh, to, to, to want to take care of it and to complete it, and then you just you know, throw, the whole, throw the whole Hinduism in the garbage and start to abuse. No. And uh, not even that. I mean, when I'm saying Hinduism, I'm not saying like some people, <laughs> some people, they'll say, oh, no, no, you know, Hinduism is so nice. It's so beautiful. Ladies are so beautiful. I feel connected. That is not connected. That is not uh, beautiful. Of course, it is beautiful, but that is not Hinduism. Hinduism is about making you realize you are Paramashivoham. If you feel silenced, that is not powerful cognition. That is not Hinduism. Hinduism is nothing but a bunch of powerful cognitions. If you feel you cannot express your inner voice because you, know, you are oppressed by someone, then you are not living Hinduism. You're doing something else. So that's what I want to share in this video. So comment. Thank you all for watching, supporting. Um, let us stand for Hinduism. Share these powerful cognitions. Enrich the world. And bring this whole delusion out. Like get rid of this whole nonsense doesn't make sense and it's just putting everybody into chaos uh, which is not needed so with this i'll see you guys in the next video nityananda i welcome you all with my love and respect let you all open all your three eyes Om Nityananda.